an increase in unemployment will always be faster in the United States than it will be in Europe because people have less job security here. But equally, a pickup in employment will be faster in the United States than it will be in Europe because firms are more willing to recruit people because they know they can, if necessary, dispense with their services if they need to. One of the, one of the uh, effects of the very much heavier job protection systems in Europe is that it slows down a decline, but it makes the recovery also much, much slower. I have to say, I think a balance uh, needs to be struck here. I think if you have employers who feel that they can just dispense with people uh, very easily and that there's no consequence and that they don't have to think very much, they recruit somebody and then they get rid of them, uh, that's not human. That's not, that's not intelligent, really. It's not taking into account the fact that anybody you employ, he's a human asset, but it's also he's a human being. And you, to get the best performance from him or her in, this, in his or her job, he has to feel that he has a measure of security because we all need, we need freedom, but we also need security. We're, in each one of us, that need is there. Uh, so a legal system that recognises both I think is better than one which says, well, it's all freedom, you're free to go and we're, I'm free to sack you. Uh, that wouldn't work. But equally, a system which said, you know, well, once you get a job with our company, you will never lose it. Well, people are not going to work hard if that's the case. Uh, there's not going to be adaptability if that's the case. So some sort of midpoint in this, uh, where there are some penalties involved for employers in getting rid of employees, that it's not just a matter of clicking their finger, uh, I think is preferable to no uh, controls, but too much controls can lead to stagnation. In general, but there are wide varieties in Europe between countries like you know, Britain and Ireland, which are closer to the United States. They don't have the same you know, rigidities built into their labour market to prevent people losing their jobs. And other countries like France, where, uh, where it's very difficult, or if you're in protected employment, in, in other countries as well, it's very difficult for you to lose your job. There, there's, a, there's a sort of a spectrum uh, within, within Europe as far as this is concerned. Mm -hmm.